Hey, this is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Today we're going to look at a Shelter Logic car shelter, carport here. This is actually year two of this, and I wanted to kind of give an update on how this has worked for year two. We've we set this up in the fall to have one of our vehicles uh, off to the side of our driveway, our parking area here. So when the kids have their vehicle, they can put it in there and then they don't have to scrape windows in the morning. Now, a couple of things. This is a 12, I believe it's 12 by 20 is what we put um, put up here, that it, it's done actually pretty well uh, with, with the winter. One thing though, is that when there's snow, it will gather up in here between the different uh, little little uh, ribs of the, of the uh, shelter. So we have to come and push up to get the snow to fall down. As you can see, it falls down and we have it kind of banking along the side here. Last winter, we ended up having more snow and it was getting to the point where we actually had to come through and shovel it away. So obviously that is a concern if you've got one that kind of has this hipped, this hipped uh, roof look to it. Otherwise, uh, it's been pretty, pretty good, but you can see here a little bit and it's just not possible to pull this tarp tight enough to be able to have, have that, uh, have that where the snow falls off. So if you have a domed one, it probably would do a better job than the one that has the ability to, where these areas will sag a little bit. We've got our little Subaru out back here that we use for kind of running around here in the winter. What I did is I drove posts down into the ground. These are, I believe, 18 inch metal posts. I drove those down into the soil. We have a heavier black so black dirt here. Drove that down in there and then used used a, uh, actually that's clothesline wire that I used to kind of cinch things up and to have that downward pressure. So that has worked really quite well. We've had some really big wind storms in the fall and it didn't do much of anything for pulling, uh, pulling up or moving of the tent. So that's been kind of a nice little part to it. Uh, you can kind of see here we've got snow that has kind of blown in a little bit. This is how much room we have. We have about four feet in front of the Outback. We've had a Buick LeSabre and Outback in here and a uh, my, my son's Taurus X in here for, for vehicle. I just want to give you kind of an idea. You've got size of the unit. The only damage from year one to year two that I noticed is that there was a spot up on the, the roof here somewhere that uh, it had kind of worn through. I would assume it was probably above one of these little connections. And you could see a little daylight through that. And I used a tent repair kit uh, to put a little patch on it just to keep it from uh, continuing to fray or open up anymore. Other than that, it's held up tremendously well. Oh, here's another one of the little spots. But this could be, as you might have seen on the uh, when we started, there's a tree out there. So this could be from a branch. So I'm gonna have to put a patch over that to get that uh, that, pot, that spot held and held well. Otherwise, I've been pretty happy with it. Um, I didn't number everything as well, and I didn't keep the instructions when it came to reassembling. It took a little bit of time just to use some common sense of which pieces go where, because you've got different lengths and different diameter of pieces that go around. The big thing I would recommend if you're going to do this is you do try to leave as many bolts in their spots as possible. So you take the pipes out and put the bolt back in and you should be you should be good to go when it comes to reassembling everything. Just want to give you a little uh, little overview of this. Again, this is year two of this being used here, or the shelter logic structure. And so far it's done very well. And again, one of the big things I wanted to have was the ability to not have to come out and scrape the windows and make sure the windows were clear for the kids in the morning. Come April, we will be March, April, once the snow is all done and the, and the ground is thawed enough to pull those stakes that are right there, I'll be uh, taking this down and then we'll be having this as a yard for the rest of the season. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.